Hey guys, Fabian Vick here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this. This is the armor tank from Ar Army. A R Y M I. I've seen a million different pronunciations, but I think it's meant to be said Army. Um, so the armor tank by Army. It's a sub ohm clearomizer. Um, Another sub ohm clearizer, I know, I know. Uh, but what's so special and interesting about this one? Well, it's got a few things. It's got top filling. It's also got top airflow, which actually comes from the drip tip. It's um, got a super to e easy to use function. Uh, it's called a, a mess free refill system. So what you do is you take the drip tip off like this. The entire coil head comes out. And you're left with a just a big cup of tank there, and you can just stick this straight back in. Um, each coil head you get comes with the drip tip. It's all just one big unit. Um, so it's it's like a, a really super simple way of using it. You know, all you ever have to do is just unscrew the drip tip, refill it, replace it, anything you want to do. Super super easy. Um, what else do you need to know? It's available in white, silver, and black. Um, it's quite a pretty design, you know, it's, it's, it's not ugly at all, anything like that. Um, and yeah, it's got this top-down airflow, so they, they say that um, it's coming in in a, in a pyramid, pyramid fashion, uh, so the airflow is coming in from there, it's going down the tank, and it's coming back up through the other side. So that does create a few benefits. One major benefit is it means it's virtually leak free uh, because there's no air, there's no holes anywhere below here for the juice to ever come out of. So the juice just stays in there, which is it, it is a nice thing. Uh, it does actually create some negatives as well though. If say you leave this tank for a very long time full of juice and don't vape it, over time those coil heads will get very very saturated and so it'll be a bit gurgly and gargly until you've vaped your way out of it. Um, if you left it for a long time or it, your room got warm or something that caused it to wick fast, um, what you would, if it got really badly flooded what you would need to do is actually turn it upside down to get some juice out, so it does have that element to it. Um, but yes, it's got all this sh stuff going on. The capacity is 1.9 mil, making it TPD compliant, I guess. Um, it's, it has available for it uh, a 0 0.5 stainless steel coil, and um, it has a 1.5 nichrome coil, which is a mouth-to-lung coil, and they say it's all nicely reduced and all that stuff. Now, another factor for this tank is the fact that it is actually... Um, the army guys are actually the Kanga guys. It's, <laughs> army is owned, or in some way ran, by Kanga. And this is their, it's, it literally says on the box, if you look closely, manufactured by Kanga. Um, so what this they're saying this is, it's their like new budget line. This whole army range is going to be their budget line. And this, they have made a super affordable tank. You can get this in the UK for £14. I think it's $16 in America. Uh, very, very affordable, cheap uh, device to get hold of. One element of that though in the box you will uh, you do not get a spare coil head and I do not have the mouth to lung head um, so I can't test that for you guys. Okay so my major pros and cons with this the flavor and the vapor production is actually very solid. Uh, I've got the 0.5 head in here, uh, I've got it at 40 watts, 4.8 volts, and um, it's like this. Nice cloud, nice flavor, uh, the coil head wicks excellently, no problems like that. So all that's very good. My two negatives for this are the fact that the coil, the air flow, ho flow holes are at the top. Uh, the, them being at the top does create those flooding, gurgling issues. Only if in the scenarios, like I've mentioned though, something that causes it to overwick, leaving it on its side for too long, um, not vaping it for too long, if you're in, if suddenly you suddenly move into a hot environment so the juice thins, something like that. Um, can cause it to get very gargly um, and you have to vape your way out of that because it, what would happen on a tank, a traditional tank, is the air would seep, uh, the juice would seep out of the bottom. Um, 
so it has that element to it. Not a big deal, and the flavour and vapour production sort of do justify that decision, and the fact that it's leak-free. Um, so that is good. The slight, the, the, other, the other negatives I have are surrounding airflow as well. These air holes coming out of the drip tip, um, it does mean that you can get yourself quite in a warm situation. Very close to your lips, you know, the air in and out thing. Um, also, if if you want to put your drip tip further in, you can't really. You're gonna you're gonna cause yourself all kinds of trouble uh, if you do that. So you do have to sort of just put your, it, it. It sort of just creates a way, sort of a certain way of having to vape. Um, and again, with the airflow, it is completely non-adjustable. It's quite a nice open uh, lung hit, but it's in no way adjustable. Um, the 1.9 mil capacity. It is TPD, TPD compliant, which is good, but it does mean you're going to really go through that juice quite quick. Uh, you have to fill it to this line here. So, pros and cons, pros and cons. Uh, but I must say that the price is outstanding, the build quality is excellent, the vapour production and the flavour is also very good indeed. So, overall... I think it's a very good tank, a very good affordable tank. If you just need a sub tank on the cheap in a hurry for a certain occasion, or you've never tried a sub ohm tank, sub ohm clearomizer for whatever reason, you know it's definitely an option. Very affordable, very well made, uh, and good vape quality, very good vape quality. So a mixed bag, a mixed bag, but overall I've got to say it's quite a positive thing. I think it's quite good. Uh, I've been Vaping Vic. And I'll see you again really soon. Got so, so much stuff to review. So I'll see you soon.